Okay, so now that we've got CraftMaker Pro installed, we're going to have a look at setting up the company information. So we're going to the admin section from the main screen. And in here, so most of the information is obviously self-explanatory. So we've got our company name, address, and so on and so on. Uh, we've got our state and country, so we need to select those. And also we need our preferred page setup. So depending on where you are, it could be the A4 or US letter. Now, the other thing here as well, so we've got a logo. So if you click on insert for your logo, and it does um, prompt you here. So we need the logo to be 300 by 140 pixels um, approximately, or within that kind of area, because CraftMaker Pro will adjust the logo to fit into that size space, because that will appear on your invoices and catalogs. So it has to fit within that area. And if your logo is well out of those dimensions, it can appear um, distorted or squashed so if you can make sure that your logo fits within that size then it will look much more professional okay then we need to obviously fill in the rest of the details phone number fax email so forth and bank details in here so if you have an account number BSB uh, terms of payment that you would like to put on your invoice then you can fill those in here and they will get printed at the bottom of your invoice the default measurements, so all you really need to do here is select whether you're using imperial or metric uh, sizes and weights. So just click in here and select imperial or metric. And whatever the most common units are that you use when you're creating either um, uh, using parts or pieces. And you just select in here what you'd actually like that to be and this will be covered in one of the other videos. It is manually adjustable on an individual basis, but if you select your default measurements in here, it just can save you a little bit of time in the future. Now, your state or country tax rate, these are actually automatically populated depending on the country that you've selected and your state here. So if you were to actually select, um, choose Croatia, you can see that it's actually automatically changed the country tax rate here according to what it is for Croatia. So all I need to do is click use tax and it will populate that in here to use that tax rate. If you use the state rate, then you can click here and it will use the state rate. Now, if these actually are incorrect as tax rates do change, you can simply go in here, click on edit rate. It'll bring up a table so it has every single tax rate that it has in here. So we can see at the top, we're in the state rates at the moment. So if you're in the US and your tax rate has changed for your state, simply go into here, you can click into the rate and you just change it. So it's actually uh, by decimal place. So this is actually 4.5, uh, but you have to put it in as a decimal point. So you just change it in here, update that to whatever it needs to be. So if we did do Alabama, for example, Let's just say we'll make that 0.1, which would be 10%. If we save this, and if I was to change now to United States, and we will pick Alabama, um, we have the tax rate of 10%, so we can just say use that tax rate, and that's what it will use in here. Choose your tax type. So you can select whatever that might be, your currency symbol as well, and if you need to edit either of those, then you can just click on the edit, type in your, new, your, your symbol for your country, and then save that. Your hourly rate, which we'll go into in the hourly rate calculator video, um, will be calculated and that will be set in here. You can double click in here and type in there to override that if you need to manually set that. Instant highlighting, so this is for the search functionality. So when you're searching in list views, um, you can click this to turn it on or off so that it will or will not highlight. And hiding alerts on startup, so when we set up alerts, which we'll go into in one of the other videos, if you don't want those to turn up or pop up every time you actually start CraftMaker Pro, you can tick this and stop those from appearing at the start. Down the bottom here, and this is covered in more detail in one of the in the backup video. So this is just our backup section, but it's as simple as clicking on backup to create a backup of your data. 
backups are displayed in here and then to restore it you'll just click on one of the red push pins obviously making sure that we select the latest one or, or the previous one but we'll go through this in another video as well which will show you in more detail how to do that and where those are actually stored so that's it for setting up the company section fairly self-explanatory basically filling your details add in your logo select your default measurements for your country set up your tax rate and we'll go through your hourly rate calculator in the next video tutorial.